God, please, no! 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 So, slight issue on the RS3. What is this, you ask yourself? Well, I ask myself the same thing. There's a little bit there, just where I've moved the car around the driveway. Um, and basically, I've done a bit of research into like, you know, common leaks out of the RS3 from which side, blah, blah, blah. And it'd be one of two things. It's either coolant or oil. And initially we thought, that just looks like water. But that wasn't there last night when I parked the car. It only came about a few hours ago. Um, so we thought, right, okay, is it coolant or is it oil? And basically, on these, on the facelift cars, you, well, two big common problems. One is uh, a weeping sump, and the other one is uh, the water pump failing, and then obviously it's pissing out coolant. So we were like, okay, check the coolant level this morning. And whilst it's getting slightly lower, I mean, it's about in the middle. Uh, excuse all this dirt and stuff, it needs a clean, but it's about in the middle. So I thought, I mm, don't think that's changed. Not too bad. Check the uh, oil. Can I just say as well, I'm like, this car from new would have been what? 55 grand? Something like that? 60 grand? And it doesn't even electronically check the oil. <laughs> Why? Um, so that's annoying. But yeah, so we got underneath the car and um, I'll try and do my best to uh to show you guys shortly well, you can tell them where it is then so it looks like around the sump casing there is oil residue uh, coming off and if we go further back is it behind the under tray or under the under tray it's dripping off the under tray let's try and see well, you said it was quite a bit didn't you yeah <clears throat> it's at the back of the under tray. Yeah, back of the engine, back of the under tray, front of the sump. Yeah. Which is why they need resealing. Because the sump's to the left. So this is more to the right, but there is a big like drip hole. I wasn't going to put me on it because I look a bit crazy. It's first thing in the morning. It's literally what? What time is it? Eight o'clock. Half past eight. Half past eight on a Sunday morning. And uh, hence why I look a bit weird. Uh, but yeah, I mean, not ideal. It's not great. Um, but it is a common fault on these cars to have that happen. But yeah, not great. Yeah, so we've had a good look and it's, I mean, it's literally, it's really hard to show you, but I mean, it's literally around the whole sump. And so I think this, this area here or what causes concern actually is not, I think it's just water. It's not actually the concern, but it's actually the oil so i mean thankfully just before i picked this up it had a brand new uh, oil change so you know it's got plenty of oil in it so i don't think it's done any any damage and we looked on the on the dipstick and the level was fine so yeah just a case of getting it in now um possibly over to gt 101 or pinnacle automotive depends who can get it in quicker um but yeah i'm just glad that it's not coolant because i think Resealing the sump is easier and cheaper than a new water filter, water pump rather. Two days later. Good morning. So it's now, uh, what day did I last film? Sunday. It's now Tuesday. This is the earliest I could get the car into uh, GT101. So GT101 is, uh, if you haven't heard of them, they're based up in uh, Stanway in Essex. And David, the owner there, um, basically has created somewhere that specialises in Ford GTs. Um, but they also they also specialise in a lot of VW stuff. They they have a demonstrator Golf R, um, which we've done a lot of stuff with, obviously with Mustangs as well. More on that coming soon. Um, and yeah, so they they just they're just really really good guys. They looked after me on my last RS3, so I trust their opinion. Um, so I'm just on my way there now with the car. Uh, thankfully, it doesn't look like it's dropped any more oil since uh, I filmed on Sunday. Just check the driveway and it looks exactly the same. I purposely haven't driven the car uh, just out of fear <laughs> or anything. Um, check, check the dipstick again before I drove out. I still have plenty of oil in it, so... Oh, just really nervous. Really nervous. I just really hope it's just some. Uh, I posted in the RS3 Owners Club UK, big up, 
pretend like I know what that means. <laughs> no, I just presume it's something down the side of the engine, a, a, a belt or a chain or something, uh, which requires oil. I don't know. Like I said, I in my first ever video, I'm learning about cars. I am by no means uh, an expert or know what I'm talking about. So I'm just very nervous. I'm hoping it's just the sump um, and hopefully a relatively easy pain-free fix um, because this has cost me a lot this month because I've just had to buy four brand new Michelin Pilot Sport S Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tyres because um, the tyres I bought on these wheels were used when I bought them off the guy that I bought them from and I knew that they were used I knew they didn't have much longer left but they had far less than I thought they had left <laughs> So when we jacked the car up on Sunday to look underneath it, I looked at the sidewalls of the inner wear and I was like, mm, really need four new tyres. So yeah, it's been an expensive 36 hours. Um, so I'm hoping it's nothing crazy. We're almost there. I've not driven very far. Um, I've already driven. Uh, 6.1 miles and we're almost there. So not very far. Yeah, I'll check back in. If I can film in there, I will. If I can't, I'll just give you an explanation uh, when I come back out, basically. But I'll get you some uh, some footage of the stuff that's inside GT101. It's always very tasty, some very nice GTs in there. Um, so yeah, be back with you in a minute. Um, 
but there's so much confusion out online whether or not you go with a dash eight or dash nine. Uh, and yeah, I, I've seen a couple of them go wrong and I was just like, for now, I'm just gonna do um, OEM plugs because very soon, um, there will be a dyno run of this car. That video will come soon, which is exciting. Um, and we'll find out what power it's making finally. And just before I put it on the dyno, I'd feel better if it had new spark plugs. So enough waffling. I'm on my way to GT101 now. So hopefully when I pick this back up, the car's fixed. Uh, and maybe a little bit of footage of the work they've done. So yeah. super super happy all the oil was done uh we've had new spark plugs the sump is all on um and yeah we're back so massive massive thank you to gt101 lee and david there if you have a mustang or um really any performance ford uh, or vw or audi give them a shout i'll leave all their um details in the description below and yeah hope you guys have enjoyed it's been a stressful <laughs> a stressful period of time but we're back we're all sorted ready for uh, this weekend's event so today is actually the whole really bad day in the uk with the red weather warning for storm eunice so i hope you're all safe i hope nothing crazy happened and uh yeah look after yourselves because it's uh, it's a little bit scary but yeah hope you enjoyed guys see you on the next one if you haven't subscribed already make sure you subscribe give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it um and as always i appreciate any comments feedback uh below that you want to give so yeah take care guys see you later